Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. And my son Sam is here to teach us how to make something amazing. So I'm going to let him do the teaching and I'm gonna learn how he made this amazing meal for us a couple weeks ago. So Sam, the camera is yours. Okay. All right, so we're gonna be making lamb ragu, which is a, it's, it's a pasta using like potato noodles and gnocchi yeah and uh, dumplings yes and lamb for the meat so the, the first thing that we want to do is get the uh, the pan oiled up with olive oil and then put our uh, put our lamb in there and it's ground lamb yeah two pounds of ground lamb and all the measurements for this are going to be on in the description below on this YouTube video okay so put that meat in Oh, we love ground lamb, don't we, Sam? Yeah. It is his and my favorite. It's my dad's favorite. So once it's in there, you just want to take something to chop it up into smaller little pieces. We really want a lot of crispy bits on the bottom, so make sure you're frying this at medium high to high. Also, if any liquid renders off the meat or fat, Pour that into a little bowl and save it for later when you add your liquid back in. Oh, we got some good brown bits on the bottom. That's what we want. We want it to be browned. What's our next step, Sam? All right, the next step is add the vegetables, which is carrot, onion, and celery, all chopped up into nice bits. Nice fine bits. So you just want to... Yeah, we don't, we don't want sliced carrots. Yeah. We're not making stew. We, we won't even really see the carrots. So you want to pour that in with the brown lamb and stir it up real nice. Make sure it's not sticking on the sides still. For about two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes you want to do that. We also drain some of the liquid from the ground lamb. And it, later we're going to add chicken broth. But I think we're going to add this in there and omit a little bit of the chicken broth. Because why wouldn't we want that delicious flavor of the lamb juice and add that fat back in? Because Sam's thin. He needs some fat. <laughs> and this is our tomato paste. We're going to put this in and it's going to turn everything a bright red. Okay, tomato paste is added. And we're going to stir that in another minute or so. Oh, the smell in this house is absolutely incredible. Yes. Absolutely incredible. I tell you, I'm really proud of Sam because uh, he's got his mama's palate. He enjoys higher end food and uh, likes to experiment and cook. And so I, I'm proud of you, Sam. Thank you. All right, what's our next step here, Sam? All right, so after it's all got like a reddish tint to it from the tomato paste, you're going to want to grab uh, the red wine and uh, pour that in there. It's going to be three cups. You want to use high quality red wine. Would you like to sit before yeah, I put sure. it in? <laughs> I used to hate cooking with wine because I barely had enough money to buy wine, let alone cook with it. But now I can afford to cook with a little wine. Oh man. After the wine is uh, evaporated and there's a nice uh, dark reddish color to it. It's beautiful. You're going to want to grab uh, your six cups of chicken broth and we added the, um, the, the lamb juice in there too from when we first started boiling it. Yeah, we took and a little bit of the chicken broth out. Yeah, just pour that in there and then at the same time you want to add your tomatoes. A large can. This is a double portion here just so you know this is a lot of sauce if you're going through all this effort make double because you could always just freeze it so this is a double and this is um organic peeled tomatoes um you know just a large can of tomatoes but higher quality actually does taste better they cost more a dollar more for a large can like this but they do affect the taste of your food and then after the tomato and the chicken salt, the chicken broth is in there, you want to add all of your spices, which the measurements will be in the description. 
Well, what, uh, well, tell us about yeah. it. Tell us about what's there's it. There's bay leaves, cumin, coriander, uh, red pepper flakes, salt, and pepper in here. And fennel. Yeah. And so you want to put that in there. Okay, and what do we have here? And then this is fresh rosemary and thyme. The measurements are also in the, the description for that. Oh, this looks so good. So after you have all of the the other sauces and spices added in, you're going to want to bring the mixture to a low boil and let it simmer for about an hour and a half or so. Yeah, and so right now it looks like soup. Yeah. There's a lot of liquid in here. So on your simmer, you want to make sure your simmer is high enough to where you see steam coming up because you need to evaporate a lot of this liquid. This is a, a, a slow cooked ragu. That's what ragu is. But we want the evaporation to happen. So don't have it so low that your food is just on warm. You want to see steam coming up. And if we put in, yeah, we put in whole tomatoes. Um, you could go like this and just pick one up and, and right. kind of mash it with. Normally, you know, I'll um, just take them out individually and mash them with my hand, but we didn't do that. So now Sam can go through and just, you know, kind of break up the tomatoes. All right. So we'll see everybody back in an hour and a half. Yep. Alright, so the, the sauce has been cooking for about an hour and a half and it's time to finish it with um, four tablespoons of olive oil. The cheese is going to eyeball. Yeah. Because if he puts too much or too little in, it's alright. That then, looked about right. Then you want a half a cup of chopped mint. Put that in there too. Because mint and lamb go good together. And then four tablespoons of butter. Yes. Now this is going to help thicken it even more and make it very rich. You, it tasted good without doing this part, but this is what gets it restaurant quality and takes it over the edge. And you think, how come I can't make anything like that at home? And this is why a lot of these finishing techniques and the fresh herbs at the end. Now it, it's a creamy, looking beautiful ragu. All right, now what, Sam? All right, so after that's mixed in nice, you grab your gnocchi noodles. Gnocchi, I gnocchi. think is the way to say it. And, and this is pour that in there. a potato dumpling slash pasta. And we're using the mini one, two packages of the mini gnocchi. And a, and a lot of times at the grocery store, you have your pasta. If you look up the top shelf, that's where your gnocchi is. And oh my goodness, does that look beautiful. And then also, what I like to do is just add more wine at the end, just to give it that flavor. And this is about half a cup. Just to give it that raw alcohol flavor. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't boil off. Oh, and it changed the color yeah, too. Yeah, it made it a darker red. Oh, it's beautiful. That is again, the most fabulous ragu I've ever had. That lamb with the mint, wow. If you didn't hear Sam, he said, dang. Let's do a little cheers for our magnificent work. To us. Mm. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Thank you so much, Sam, for teaching us how to make this. I mean, this is spectacular, so give it a try. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.